record this you guys because um maria is stuck at work right now and like this she was one of the main people that like needs this information so i'm gonna record it for her yeah and so we said the same thing she's like please record i'm like yes we got this we're, oh we're yeah oh sophie too yeah for sure dang it that kind of sucks anyways okay let's go dive into this whole real topic and conversation um here's what mamie and i are wanting to help you guys accomplish in the next little bit we're wanting to help you accomplish understanding how to make reels, but not just reels, but make good, hearty reels that people can actually be educated on and know that they have you to come to for like their oil lady or whatever it is. Um, we're also wanting the next couple minutes for you to be educated about um, things that are great to do in reels and things that you'll want to shy away from in reels that are like common mistakes that I made up until like a month ago, whatever. It took me a long time to learn them too. <clears throat> um, so before we just like dive into all of our information, I really want to hear what you guys have struggled with reels or maybe even things you love to do with reels. Give me your background on reels and what you might be needing help with in this topic. So like I mentioned to you earlier today when we talked, I want to know how to yeah. grab people's attention quickly and like what to say and what not to say and how to use, you know, more of like the fun audios instead of just my voice every time. I love it. Okay. So that, um, Marcella or Tylo, do you have anything to add with that? Probably, yeah. yeah, just because I feel like you're trying so hard to like get so much and just so little and they don't leave a lot of room for comments. Like when you're trying to comment, like you can't put a whole novel in there. So yeah. I think, yeah, just trying to like shorten it down and be like, okay, hey, bam, this is what I use here, here, here and done. Like, I feel like it's really hard to kind of like get to the point fast oh. and short <laughs> with mm. little words. I love that. Oh, I'm like so excited that you just said that because we're going to cover that. Like everything you guys are asking, I'm like, yes, we got that. We, we got have that. answers for that. <laughs> Marcella, what were you going to say? I, um, what, you know, what's better? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, like what, what's the better app or do you do all of them? And if you do all of them, do you have to make videos for all of them or make just one video that would work for all of them like what's the formula here okay good, good question all right guys buckle up because we literally have answers for all of us well i mean no hey. answer so hi Sawyer. okay hi. i'm gonna go ahead and mute everyone and honestly like unmute yourselves it's just so we can like get through this information but ask all the questions okay so um mimi can you start us off? Tell us. Yes. Yes. Okay. So to get us started, um, I actually took a reels course that was super, super helpful. Um, and we can give you guys that information at the end. So we'll, we'll talk about that. I can drop the link and everything, um, for the course. Um, so some of this is just what I gathered from the course and what I have used and what I have seen has helped a ton. Um, so the first thing that was discussed in the course that I took was your niche. So although a niche is great to have, you can at least start with oils. So if you haven't found exactly what your niche is with oils, we all have essential oils in common, right? So we can use that as our borderline baseline to start out, right? Can I interrupt you really quickly? I'm yeah, so sorry. yeah, go, go for um, it. For those of you who don't even understand like a niche, I was just telling Chelsea while she was here visiting and like hanging out with me about this stuff. I don't really even know my niche, you guys. Like seriously, I'm all over the freaking place. One day I'm crying about infertility. One day I'm like worshiping God about infertility. One day I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm doing yoga next like two by fours in my basement. Like you don't have to have like a specific niche. You just, I think what Mamie is saying with the niche is you need to find your voice about the things you love doing with your oils. Mm -hmm. Like, so don't think you have to like get this big game and business plan about 
I need to speak to women with the eight, with the kids of age six months to three years. And that's it. And I, everything's incongruent if I don't speak to them, but figure out what you love doing with your oils. Maybe you love your diffuser. Like I do like, and maybe you even just like have a notebook specifically to doTERRA. I've talked to all of you about this uh, and getting your ideas from your mind to paper. So it's tangible of things you like to do, however silly or big it is. So that's kind of what we're meaning with like niche and how Mamie said, yes, we all have essential oils in common. So nothing is too out there to share. Maybe one day you share about hemorrhoids and the next day you share about yoga. Like nothing is too far off base with each other. Yeah. So we all have that in common and with time, cause I'm still figuring mine out too. Like I'm still solidifying mine because I have so many ideas of what I want to do with oils and crystals. Cause that's my niche, but like you have to confine it a little bit more to really start going. But for me, I know that mine, the bottom line is essential oils. Mm. And that's something that I know we all have in common. So just start there. And that's perfect. That is perfect. That is a great starting point. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, um, obviously the best way to drive and get traffic to your page and get known is obviously through reels. So I made like a little checklist for you guys or like a little flyer, um, that should be helpful for you guys um, that I will pull up and then we'll kind of go through them. And if you guys have questions along the way, feel free. Um, and I'll also send this either in the Voxer or something. I wanted to try to send it in like a way that you guys can like add little notes to it if you wanted. So I'm gonna try to figure that out, but- You should be able to share your screen now. Yes, I'm going to pull that up right now. Thank you, Sid. Yeah. And so once we go over this checklist, we'll dive deep into like the do's, the don'ts, how to execute a reel. Um, and honestly, you guys, like we are not complete experts. Like we're not. There's so many people that are like better at reels than us, but this is just like our experience and how we found to really execute the real game and to make it effective. Yes. Is it yes. working for you yes. to share? Yes. It's just through my email. So it's going to be super big, which is great, but it's just kind of all over the place. I haven't like, my computer hasn't fully sunk with my phone, which is a pain in the butt because I have a MacBook. So mm -hmm. that's annoying, but here we go. Hold on. Oh shoot. Where are you guys? Hold on. Okay. screen and here we go okay can you guys see it okay yeah okay so reels checklist so number one before you post your reel you want to be on social media 15 to 30 minutes before posting it so what that means is not just being on there scrolling that means you're interacting with people's stories um, you're commenting on other people's reels or commenting on people's posts, liking, sharing, all of that kind of stuff, because that's going to push the algorithm to work in your favor. So you want to, if you only have 15 minutes, that's fine. But the best is 30 minutes. That's usually what's recommended. So you want to be on social media interacting for 15 to 30 minutes before you post your reel. And that just favors, like the algorithm just favors you at that point. That's what this is, is so that when you post your reel, the algorithm is favoring you and pushing you forward to the top of people's feed. So exactly. that's what that's for. Exactly. So number two is don't use too much text. Like Tyla was saying, um, you want something because everybody's like attention span is about seven seconds. So you want something that is going to get their attention quick, because if you think about it, when you're on social media, you're just scrolling until something grabs your attention or a caption grabs your attention, right? So you want to make sure that you're not using too much text. Um, so 
the one that I just posted, I was like so hesitant because I felt like, yeah, there it was short and sweet, but it's still a little bit longer. But I was like, I'm going to do it anyways, because this reel is just too funny not to share. So I did it anyways. So sometimes it's worth kind of taking that hit if you feel like I just really need to say this. And that's kind of what I do. I wouldn't recommend it every time, but this one was just one of those that I just had to put out there. Um, Can I interrupt you? Sorry, maybe. Yeah, yeah, no, go for it. Um, So obviously reels do, they just do better when they're more short and sweet. I don't know why, but like when you have, at first I read that it was like 12 seconds. And then recently I read that it's like seven seconds and Mm -hmm. I don't know which one's true. I have no idea, (laughs) but Um, and I have seen that when I do longer 60 second or 30 second reels, they don't do as well, but sometimes they do like, honestly, Mm -hmm. some of my reels have done really good that are 15 or 22 seconds. And you want to know what, I'm just going to say this. And I know there's little ears around. So sorry, you guys, but sometimes you just have to play the bullshit Instagram game. You just, Chelsea and I were just talking about this today and we'll talk about trending audios here in a minute, but Do you all notice it's the same freaking audio just redone 400 times on it? Yep, in a different way, people being more creative than the last one. And while, like, I'm kind of, like, anti-culture, I feel like that's kind of why I, like, don't like Christmas if we're getting into my childhood traumas, okay? But, (laughs) um, like, I kind of am, like, oh, well, if that's it, then I'm not going to do it that way, but. That was, that was me with reels. I was, like, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, I've been so obedient my whole life that I'm going to flip the bird to internet, okay, and they're going to listen. They're going to listen to me, all right, but so I would honestly say sometimes that takes the joy out of making reels because this business is to fulfill your soul. This business is to serve people. This business is to, like, hone your craft And there needs to be joy with it. And while it's so fun to do like funny audios and like do like an audio that's like really bumping and like you feel like a freaking G in it, you still want to have a part of your soul on the internet. So don't feel like you have to have this be doctrine. Do it 70% of the time or 75% of the time. And then maybe you use an audio to you meditating that no one's heard before and you get 300 views on it instead of 3000. And Mm -hmm. that is okay. Exactly. But reels do do a little bit better, shorter. And then with the text, this is like one of the biggest golden nuggets that I can give you today is really think about who is on the other side of the phone. Yeah. You like, so I'm going to give an example. If you're doing a diffuser blend and like a reel of you filling up your diffuser and Um, filling it with water and choosing your oils and everything. I would really steer clear of the recipe on the text. You can do that in the caption. You have as much leeway for explaining things in the caption as you want to. Okay. So maybe instead, maybe you do peppermint and wild orange in your uh, diffuser. Number one, you really need to show your face. Not all the time, but having a part of your face in there helps a lot. Um, and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to let you guys determine if that's something that you need to do every time. You don't have to do it every time, but maybe instead of doing, Oh, do three drops of wild orange and then two drops of peppermint. And that helps with energy. Guys, that's so boring that like, no one cares. No one cares. (laughs) and um so what you could do is explain like two or three bullet points of why you're using it and what it can do for that person maybe you do maybe you do something like I've been up all if you've been up all night with your baby diffuse wild orange and peppermint for add for extra energy do you see how that's so different from Mm -hmm. two drops three drops whatever so boring to you're connecting with them. You're sending them a message. Um, one example that I have is I was like, I did a reel and I was wanting to show cheer, like the emotional line and the cheer essential oil. So instead of like explaining cheer and it's part of the emotional aromatherapy kit with doTERRA and you can get it here and cheer, no one cares. No one cares about cheer. 
but instead I did a little caption and like a really fun, it wasn't even a trending audio. I didn't do a trending audio. I did an audio that was like feeding my soul that day. And I bumped up the speed to two times instead of one time. So it's more interesting for the subconscious. Okay. And I was just like dancing around. Like it looked like I was praising God in some of the, the clips. And I said, um, it was something along the lines of like, how you can feel more confident in yourself. Number one, finding something that you're really consistent with Two, um, loving yourself, exiting the world out of like your thoughts, you know, like I'll even send it to you guys. So instead of explaining cheer in the emotional line and how everyone should have cheer in their life, I, I just did a video of me using the chair and like swaying to some pretty music, double speed. And there was like 4,000 views on that instead of like the 300 I would have gotten. Not that 4,000 is a lot, like that's nothing in the real world. But um, that's another explanation of like the text question that we had. And I know that was really long-winded, so I'm sorry. Um, totally good. Before we go on to number three, Mimi, should we kind of explain like maybe some transitions, the speeds, just since we're on like this topic or should we do that later? Um, so let me see. Yeah, I mean, we can cover that. And one thing, I know this sounds like childish, but, or like I'm talking to a kid cause you guys probably know this, but this is something that I've noticed on a lot of reels that are posted um, is where you put your text. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you do not want it where it's obstructing, like, everyone's view. Like, you don't want it across your face. And there's always, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, like, this might be dumb, <clears throat> but I'm going to say it anyways, because there might be someone out there who does not know this. But if you drag and move your text, it will show you, mm -hmm. like, when it's on your feed, where people are actually going to see it. So when they're scrolling it's not cut off. That is like my biggest pet peeve. Like that's what used to bother me before I got into reels is like scrolling through and the caption is like cut off. And I'm like, what the heck is it saying? So then you have to expand it. I hated that. So when I, so now <laughs> that I've started doing it, like I'm super OCD about that. And I love to make sure that it's within that oh, little God. window mm -hmm. because that's also something that will push people away from watching your reel yeah. as soon as they're like oh I got to expand it and read it I don't have time for that scroll mm -hmm. so always That's be cool. mindful of where your text is mm -hmm. as well um one point I want to make is how to make your reels a little bit more interesting because really you guys if you don't capture someone's attention within about like the first four seconds if you're lucky they're just going to scroll on by and you will notice that now that you have that in your mind we all do it we all have a four second attention span it's not bad so here are some tips that you can do to make um people stay and watch your 17 second reel okay um creating a really great hook at the beginning like if you were scrolling through your reels and someone said, no, 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 hold on. Use, use my hair conditioner for your hair. Like, no, that's not, that's not going to do anything. But if you, if so, if you did a, saw a hair conditioner reel that said, if you're, if you've been losing your hair, the last couple of months, I'd be like, yeah, me too. Like I had COVID and it's like falling out in chunks. Like, how did you know that I would sit and watch her reel? So create a hook. And that goes along with your niche or the things that you love to talk about. Like for me, I like when I do my infertility ones, I do how I've kept positive during infertility. That's a good hook line. Instead of being like, what I've done while I've been struggling, like, no, that's way, way too freaking wordy. Like try to keep it short, concise and a hook. And I know that's kind of hard, but maybe if you're doing an essential oil one, you can say oils versus candles or top or toxic products with a big, huge X emoji, you know? So you just have to kind of put your thinking cap on and just like think a little bit more simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two is, um, using different speeds. 
like use different speeds like throughout your whole reel um and how you can find that i'm sure you guys all know how to do that but over to the left hand side there will be like a 1x you can do 0 0.3 0 0.5 1 2 3 and i think even 4 um and that will be make your speeds a little bit different what that does is that is entertaining to the subconscious mind and i know this all seems like you have to do so many things and you don't it's just like adjusting <laughs> Yeah, it's just adjusting what you're already doing, really. So maybe in one, like one frame for one sec or one or two seconds, you've upped the speed to two and you're just like sitting there, like doing this with your head. And then what if you swiped your head this way as like a transition and then like put it to one speed and brought it back and you've got an oil in your hand? That is so much more entertaining than just like, you holding a bottle and just like filling your diffuser, you know, while that's totally fine, these things can like really enhance your real game and get people to consistently watch your content. So use different speeds. And then the third one is transitions. I honestly like don't do transitions a ton. I need to do them more. And I'm not, I'm not <laughs> yeah, like, we're not experts at this by any means. But you can do the most simple transitions of like, seriously, like moving your head. And then in the next one, like you've got a bottle in your hand and you bring it back this way, or like you've got it this way and you're bringing it that, back this way. Or you can just hold a bottle of oil up to the camera and do this and take the cap off. And then in the next frame, film it without the cap and then like put it. Mm -hmm. And then in the next frame, you're putting it to the roof of your mouth. Um, honestly, with transitions, it can be just something as simple as one minute you're filling your diffuser in your bathroom and the next frame you're filling your diffuser in your kid's room. Then the next one you're filling your diffuser in your laundry room. Yep. And, you know, so even just switching up where you are in your space is a transition. And that can be really, and it's just two seconds each one with a speed, a quicker speed and like a trending audio, like that is such a great thing or like a maneuver to do. Yeah. And then the fourth one is uh, like a trending audio. Don't always feel like you have to do a trending audio, you guys, but they're fun to do. Like yeah. they're really yeah, fun. Like that Britney they're Spears, super fun. Yeah, the Britney Spears remix that's going around. I'm like, okay, I can get down to this. I'll make something fun. I'm not scared. Yeah. So Mamie, you know a lot about trending audios. Why don't you talk about that? Okay, so the way that you can tell if it is a trending audio and now this is like this has been like a game changer for me because I was always like before I had taken the course, I would just do like an audio that I liked or that I saw somebody else doing mm -hmm. and didn't realize that in the very corner. So if you're watching someone's reel in the very, very corner on the bottom, it will have like a little arrow that bounces like this almost like a little stock arrow or something. That means it's trending. And they might have changed it. I think they have, that. because I don't see them. I wonder if it's the music. Yeah, though. I was just going to say, I think they changed it to where it's just an arrow and then it's oh. got the top of it or whatever. So it might just now be a straight arrow. Um, so then you want to save that because <laughs> then you can use it. You can use it. And it's usually like, trending for a week so if you save it you want to do it within that week because the next week it might be a completely different audio that's that's trending doesn't mean it it won't do well but like we said you kind of have to play the instagram game to make it work in your favor so you want to try to use it within that week um that and it's we're, trending and we're not trying to like go viral so yeah. like even if you use it two weeks later, awesome. Still use it. Like it's yeah. going to be great. It's going to be like a catchy beat or like a catchy tune or a catchy phrase. And so it'll keep people's attention anyways. So I don't you like, don't worry about going viral. I know none of you are, but yeah. you know, don't feel too like confined and constricted with these. These are just things yeah. that can help you. Just that um, help. Yeah. One, one thing about, oh, go oh, ahead. Sorry last thing that I have on this whole audio thing is um, you can slow down the audio as well. Like if it's a talking audio, you can slow it down 
so that when you actually post it, the wording isn't off. I don't know if you guys have had that experience. I've never done there. that before. <laughs> you haven't? You. <laughs> Seriously. So you can slow it down so that, well, first off, let me, let me back up. When you pick an audio, if you don't know the words, please practice them. Cause I don't know about you guys, but it drives me crazy when people do reels and their mouth isn't even going with it, or you can tell they don't know the words to it. It's like, dude, take like five seconds to like practice that, you know, right. if it doesn't work, record, re-record it, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but you can slow it down. You can slow down the audio as well. Like if it's a fast one, you can slow it down so that you can go with it. And then when you're real, it, when you're editing it, it will be up to speed. So you can do that so that it doesn't look like your words are off because that turns a lot of people away as well from your reels that you may not know. So um, that was one thing that was a big deal. But I do want to preface by saying if you are using other platforms and then reposting it to Instagram, that's just something you don't really have control over. Um, just because like the one I did today, it was off. But when I did it on TikTok, it was right on. So there is a bit, a little bit of lag time if you're, if you're doing it from TikTok because you found an audio on TikTok that's not on Instagram and then you upload it to Instagram, there might be a little bit of lag and there's nothing you can do about it and that's okay. But try to be mindful of getting your words or your mouthing to match the audio. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves. Wait, so how do we slow it down? Um, so if you are in your reels, let me pull it up too so I can direct you exactly. Okay. So when you pull up your reels on this screen, can you guys kind of see my screen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the one X right here, then if you select like, I think I usually do point two if I need it slowed down, that will slow down the audio. So that when you read X, uh, I, I do two X usually. Okay. So you're slow. just switching the speeds then. Yep. So you do, and you can do three X that like really slows it down. If you need to, like if it's super fast audio and even two is too fast, you can do three X mm -hmm. and that will slow it down so that when you're talking and then it plays real time, it really looks like you're with the audio. Mm -hmm. But also the good thing about that, um, is then it will speed up your video. So again, to the subconscious mind, it's actually, it's actually more entertaining for people to watch those things yes. at yeah. a faster speed. I don't know why it just, it keeps our brain entertained for longer. Exactly. For um, one thing about audios as well, I was telling Chelsea about this, so this is redundant to you. When you save, does everyone know how to save an audio? Sounds so dumb. I feel like I know. We're, we're treating you like kids, but. <laughs> but these are things I didn't really know how to do. So if you see a reel that you like and you want to use it, just come click down here on the audio, come up and hit save. And then that will save it. So when you come over here to, oh, okay, hold please, you guys. <laughs> when you come over here to make a reel, I'm on reels, you'll come up here to audio the sound bar and you'll hit your saved ones right here, obviously. And you can just go with your saved one. So that's how you'll save an audio. Um, but you're kind of able to see if you're able to ride that audio wave, meaning that like, oh, there's already so many audios created by that. Maybe that's like a past thing or, you know, something like that. So if you see an audio that you like and you want to use it, click on it, then come up here and you can see how many reels have been made with it. This one's 246. So if there was like 50,000 reels already made by that, you know, that's a lot of videos that algorithm is pushing. Yeah. So there's kind of a sweet spot there. Maybe if it's like a thousand, 2000, 246, that's kind of like not very many. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I would kind of look into that as well when you're using audios, but don't make it doctor you guys. Like if you like the audio, use it and have fun with it, do transitions, have a good time with it. And the people yeah. who are supposed to watch it are going to find you.
Yep. Yep. And that's, and that's what I learned in the course too, is like, if you're losing followers and you're like, man, but I'm pushing out so much helpful information. I'm educating people, but I'm losing more followers. I was taught that that's fine. And that that's totally fine because you want people on your page that like what you're doing, because that's, what's going to drive sales. So if you have like a crap ton of people who don't give a crap about essential oils following you and you're not getting, you're not going to really get sales because they don't give a crap about essential oils, but cool. Like your reels are entertaining to them, you know? Um, whereas if you have five followers, but they love your reels and they're contacting you talking about, Hey, like what about this kit or whatever? That's obviously beneficial to you and your business. So you yeah. shouldn't really be too worried about views or how many followers or if you're losing followers. Yeah, exactly. Um, so number three, you're done, right? With the audio yeah. part. Okay. Yeah. okay. Number three is add eight to 15 hashtags. So it used to be 30, which is kind of ridiculous, but they down that to add eight to 15. Um, there's like a whole thing to this that I was like, why does so much go into freaking hashtags? Like, I don't understand, but um, there's like some math to it as far as like, use certain hashtags like you want to use one that maybe has a shit ton excuse my language like a shit ton of people who have used it to barely any to like a good medium and you kind of want to like equal it out as far as what hashtags you're using so like for me for example I'll do like doTERRA that's going to be a huge one because a lot of people have probably used that hashtag. So it gets you that exposure and basically triggers Instagram to like show your reel to people who follow people like that or that have liked reels that have used that hashtag. Um, uh, I might use black owned business because I am a black person who owns a business or I might put small essential oil business or something like that. So maybe there's not as many people who have used that hashtag because not everybody is black, right? And then maybe I'll do like my business name, hashtag main essentials, because there's nobody using that one most likely, unless it's like another business that specializes in something else that they call main essentials. Um, so hashtags are apparently a pretty big deal to get you a little more exposure and more traffic, which I found interesting because I really didn't use them until I took the reels course. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to start using them. I um, don't ever use reels. I used to use not reels on my head. <laughs> I never use reels. You guys in my post on every day. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I did hashtags so long, like with every post before reels were a thing like a year and a half ago. Um, and then I just stopped. So it'll be interesting to see if like any of us notice anything about the hashtags. I mm -hmm. think just like with what Mamie said, use some that have a lot, use some that don't, don't make it doctrine. Don't stress out about using the right mm -hmm. hashtags just because we want to be perfect. Like use some, if you don't, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe just keep it in your mind to use them. Yeah. I have a question really quick. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Is it just hashtags in your comments or is there another place that you put them like, because I know you can like tag people in your post or is it? So that is sense. a really good question. Thank you for asking that. Um, I, we were actually told from the course because they have like all the updated good information from Instagram. I don't know how, but they are like in contact with Instagram or something. But the Reels course I took said, do not do it in your comments. Do not, do not, do not. Cause that doesn't do any benefit for your Reels at all. Okay. So you definitely want to do it as you're typing up your whole Action. body and everything like that. Then at the very bottom, do your hashtags. That's good to know. Cause I was just going to put them in my comments. I was going to make that mistake. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Go back to all your wills and add hashtags. I know. I would have. That I would do something like that. Okay. That's what I would do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so okay. number four. Okay. Yeah. You know, you do this a lot, Mamie. You go for this one. Oh yeah. No, you're good. Okay. So add to story with new reel and add a poll asking if they saw your reel. So, um, the logic behind this is reels drives traffic to you, to your page, but your stories are sales. Yeah, I agree. So if you post a reel, they say to put it on your story, but cover like the meaty part of it so that it forces people to go back to your page and watch it. Um, and then um, doing a poll because that's going to cause your audience to take action. That's going to cause them to interact with you. And that's what you want. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I always do that. Like it probably seems repetitive. And as you do it, you'll probably be like, oh my God, like this is so repetitive as if I didn't already post like five reels this week. And now I'm putting in my story. Did you see my reel? Like, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> so, um, but um, they say with the poll to show your face. So if you are posting to your story, like, hey, did you see my reel? Do a boomerang effect and show your face. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about you guys. Me and Sydney were kind of talking about this earlier. But if you have a page that you follow and they never show their face on their stories, me now more than ever is going to think you're a freaking scam page, <laughs> you know? So I'm not going to, I am not going to continue following you or I'm not going to click on anything. And that's what a lot of people think. Like if they see your stories and never showing your face, it's going to lose their interest. They're going to think you're a scam or it's not a real page. So, um, and I feel like that's an easy, easy thing to do as a boomerang. It's not like you have to talk. So. Yeah. Um, okay. One little thing. And I guess this is more along the lines of number five call to action. I think here at the beginning for like the first year of doing your own business and getting outside of your comfort zone and like doing reels, talking about a topic that you haven't talked about before, but you know, you love and know, you know, a lot about, even if you're not an expert yet, you still know a lot about it is we get so scared that like we're the selfie person and like, we don't want to like come across selfie. We don't want to like be annoying. I hear that a lot. And I don't want to be annoying either. You guys, there is nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with asking your followers to reshare your stuff. There's not a lot of the time. It's great friends. It's people that are cheering you on, on from the other side of the world or country or state or family, whatever. Like there is nothing wrong with saying reshare if you agree, or if you've tried out back skin before, please, would you mind please resharing this? Like this is your space and no matter how much, like, even if you tried to be salesy, you guys, every single one of you, you couldn't be like, none of you are annoying and have ill intentions and are here for the money and are here for the greed and want to swindle people out of $150. So you can make some off of the kit. None of, none of you, that is not your story. And if someone is going to take that as your story, then you can bless them and they can move on. <laughs> but, like seriously, just because you're posting a reel every day, or you keep talking about your favorite kit every single day. And even if every day you're saying, Hey, you can get these oils over here. I'm going to link them right here. If you do that every day, I do that almost every day. It is not salesy. You are not salesy. You are sharing how they can get some oils, how they can better their birthing experience, like Sammy, or how you can help some, like your two, two month old sore bum, like Peyton does like you're not salesy. So I would love, not that you, but I haven't heard this complaint from any of you, although I know it's like a true deep down seated thing for all of us. I want you all to really try and release. I don't want to be a saleswoman because newsflash, we are saleswomen and we sell for a living, but that is not our narrative. So 
maybe notice how that comes up for you and how you can like release that thought and just be like, no, I'm going to share with them how they can get out back skin. That's mine, but, or how I <laughs> can get a diffuser and three oils. No, I'm going to share the best options for a wholesale customer and a wellness advocate. No, I'm going to talk about the business and how this has changed my life. Yes. There's just, it's different energy that you're putting out where no one wants to join. No one wants to join, join a mouse's feast. Like they don't want to do that. So you like you owning your stuff is really powerful. Yeah. And like Sydney said, if they don't like your material or if they're sick of hearing you, then they can get on with their life elsewhere. Like mm-hmm. you don't need to follow me. Yeah. It's fine. You know? Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, a number five call to action. Like she was saying, there's nothing wrong with, and it doesn't even have to be like, support my business, go to this link or anything like that. It can be something as simple as comment below if you relate to this or yeah, like Sydney said, share or, um, and you can either put it like in. So some of my reels, if you go to my page, you'll see, I always have a call to action, whether it's on my reel, like in the caption on my reel, like comment below or follow me or whatever. Um, or I have it in the body, like in the text in the body. So either, or there's no right or wrong way, but you always want to call to action because if people watch your reel, but there's no call to action, they're not going to do anything. Like you literally have to tell your audience what you want from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, does this help any of you guys like understand it a little better or is this like, did you guys all know this anyways? Maybe this was just like a recap for some of you. <laughs> yeah. Like boring. Like, Hey, I already knew this. There you go, this. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I learned a lot and I have a quick question. So you mentioned something about making your profile public. How do I do that? Okay, so everything has changed drastically since I like did this <laughs> years ago. Everything. What I would think is you would go to your settings and then you would, I think you would go to privacy. Yeah. Yep. So you go to privacy and then private account. There should be like a button to push. Yep. There you go. Found Got that. it. Thank you. Cool. Um, okay. Is there anything else? Like what do, do you guys have any other questions? What questions or direction do you need right now? So I actually wanted to tell Chelsea too, that when I like on, I guess made my profile public or whatever I did, I also had to go in and like individually switch it to where people could share my stories and share my posts and stuff like that. So that's like separate and I had no clue. And so I was like, oh, public, they can share everything. And Sid's like, I can't share it. Okay, so, so you have to how do separately? How do you do that, Tylo? Um, I went so after I went into privacy, I think I had to go to posts or oh, something. I don't know, one of my kids has my phone. Yeah, so if it's like you're in account privacy, um oh, I can't right. do this on this. Uh, but it will say like interactions and then you can do comments, everyone posts, everyone mentions everyone. Yeah. Allow so, sharing it to story, allow sharing the messages, yep. share your story to Facebook. So yeah, if you just go and like look through that privacy and then story posts mentions. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Any other questions at all? Yeah, um, so I've never done a reel in my life. I stopped mm-hmm. posting with the pandemic. I really haven't posted almost anything. So I'm super behind. And I just wanted to get some tips on, um, uh, is there an app that you guys like to use to edit? I, I, oh, I yeah, 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 yeah. App- I was going to answer your question on that. Yeah. Sorry, I totally forgot. Um, okay, so my video that I posted today, I actually use TikTok. I think... I use all different sorts of platforms because there's some audios that I like to use, like Sydney and I were talking about. Um, I love Instagram for my audios, but I also like other things for my audios. Like I like to sometimes put out material that Instagram isn't used to seeing. So if you are someone who is like that as well, 
I actually have a couple apps that can help you because one thing about Instagram that you guys may not know, maybe you do know, and I'm like talking to you like a child again, but um, Instagram will not favor anyone who reposts a reel that has a watermark on it of something else. So like if you have TikTok and the watermark is there, Instagram will not push your reel out there. So um, there is an app that you can use. So if you like using TikTok and you have an, uh, a TikTok account, um, there is an app called, so there's two that I've tried. One I didn't have luck with, but the other one worked. So Save Talk, which it looks like the, the TikTok um, icon, but um, it's like the little save icon. And then there's Save Tick. Save Tick worked for me. Save Talk didn't work for me. Um, but you can actually import it there and it's pretty easy. You just copy the link from TikTok and put it in one of those apps and then it downloads it onto your phone. So the watermark is gone, but the audio is saved. So then you just have to upload it and add your caption or whatever. And they would never know that it was from TikTok. That's good. Um, I personally don't use any other apps. I'm like a one-stop shop, you guys. I just, <laughs> I, I'm a simple woman. It ain't much, but an honest work type of girl. So I just can't, I can't be going in between apps. Like it just confuses me. So I stick to Reels. I stick to Instagram. I don't have Twitter. I don't have TikTok. I don't use Facebook. I've pushed all of my posts to go to Facebook. Um, but I'm not doing anything on Facebook, whether that's smart. I don't know. Like I'm a one stop. I think it's all just personal preference really. Yeah. And like just every platform has like an audio that you're just like, Oh my gosh, I love that. I want to use yeah. it. Like that's so clever, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so there's nothing wrong with it, but you definitely just whatever platform you use, make sure you figure out how to get rid of the watermark because Instagram doesn't like it. Yeah. But Marcel, if you use Instagram, it's not going to have a watermark. So yeah, yeah. Not to worry about it. one little thing about that comment, Marcella, about like, you've never made one. Um, I'm excited for you to just like figure it out and like, see what you create. Here's the deal. <laughs> no matter how talented anyone is, I look back at my first round, like, oh, seriously, you <laughs> said, how cute are you? I was wow. just going to say, that is another thing that they say in the, in the course that I took too, is don't, don't delete any of your reels. If you regret them, don't do it. Like if you guys go and look back at mine, I don't know what I was doing. I was just dancing to Whitney Houston. So I, uh -huh. <laughs> like I go back and I cringe, but <laughs> But guess yeah, what? Like you, you have to start somewhere. Like you were proud of yourself. Like I remember my first like real. I was like, yeah, like it was like, real. It's like no big deal. And then I look back and I'm like, <laughs> like you're like some of my text is like behind other texts. So, like, <laughs> the message wasn't clear. I wasn't. I wasn't clear. And so I oh. just feel like no matter what, the only way you're going to get good at it is just doing it. And it's literally the biggest ego hit. And you just are like, yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like you're fine with it. And like you grow yeah. and how much more will even like all of us grow into like next month and the month after and a year from yeah. now, we're going to be like, okay, yeah, you could have done better circuit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so yeah. I'm just going to encourage you to like, balls to the wall, send it, who carries it? Like if none of you will look more, more of an idiot than I do. Okay. I've got you covered. You all will look better than I do. Okay. <laughs> On social media. <laughs> oh my gosh. So funny. So just oh, do and, and enjoy yourself doing it. That's all. Have this fun. Yeah. And just be yourself on social media. Like I know Sydney and I say this all the time, like just show your face as if it's so easy but everybody has to start somewhere. We did too. Like this wasn't something that was just like overnight. Mm -hmm. I never showed my, my face on social media until I started selling oils. And then it was like, okay, I have something to say. So I'm going to show my face. 
Yeah. Hi. So it's, you just have to start somewhere. You just have to get out and do it. it and it, and it is, it's not easy, but once you start doing it, you kind of get like a little bit addicted it's a little fun. bit. Yeah. And it's fun. It is and fun. you have our support. So we'll be there rooting you on and we'll be stalking your Instagram page and leaving <laughs> comments and stuff. So I'm just going to share my first reel on the Voxer and you guys like, <laughs> you should. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember when I saw Sid started to do it and I was like, oh no, she's not doing this. I'm not doing this. So I'm going to, I'm going to build my business strictly off of stories. You are not going to get me to do reels. I was so against it. You guys like, yeah, I know. Are you guys yeah here I am. I'm doing reels. <laughs> Can I ask another question? Are you guys posting images? Does anybody do that anymore? I don't know what's going on in the social media world at all. <laughs> no, they're like not. You- they're not. No, nobody's posting images anymore because no. I don't see images anymore I'm like is it just the people I'm following <laughs> yeah um it, I, I feel like it's either you do a little mixture but it's majority what you're posting on reels and it just attaches to your feed I feel like that's majority of what it is now um because the story is Instagram like when TikTok came out Instagram kind of took a hit and so Instagram is playing catch up with TikTok And so they're trying to get like more people using Instagram rather than TikTok. And so now they, that's why they favor reels so much. And so that's kind of what it's becoming like that. And then carousels, which I'm going to start doing those Mm because the class I took said that it's reels and then carousels that Instagram favors and then uh, something else. I can't remember what it was. So Mm-hmm. feel free to do re- uh carousels as well you guys that's yeah I don't know what carousels are but I'm sure I'll do them soon I'll do one and then you can you can do, okay. do. No, <laughs> the thing Our- is, social media is ever evolving it's constantly evolving when you think you got reels they're going to come out with freaking carousels when they are done with carousels they're just going to be something else like there's yep. always something yep. What yep. yep I don't know I don't know yep. what carousel is no idea. Maybe what's a carousel? Your life is going to be changed then, oh, my Lord. friend. No. Nobody. <laughs> um, Sammy it's says fun. that she posts both, like, images. And I honestly just mm-hmm. post a reel almost every day. So it's not that I don't post images. It's just that I do a lot of reels. But people do both, Marcella. Like, don't not post a picture or a still, like a still shot, if you want to. Like, if you have an awesome picture of, like, your warm lemon water or using oils in your water, like still post it. Like who cares if it only gets nine likes, who cares? No one cares. Like I'm just a firm believer, like post what resonates with you. Yeah. You have to play the Instagram game. So do reels, but like also post pictures, like people can still resonate with that. Yeah. So what's a carousel? Um, so I just added this tag. You guys can go check her out. She has a shiz ton of carousels, but it's basically like, um, I kind of did one, not exactly yet, but I kind of did, um, on my page where it's basically just like a guide. It's basically a guide um, that you would put on your feed so you can just scroll over and it's like how to do x y and z and then you scroll like scroll to the next page for more information then you scroll then there so that's kind of what it is it's like a little guide on like how to or whatever um that will be really cool for us in the oil or like entrepreneurial world I mean I obviously don't understand them yet this is the first time hearing about them but I just googled yeah. it an Instagram carousel is a post with multiple photos or videos that can be viewed by swiping or clicking left it yep. kind of so sounds it's like all, it's a tinder for like Instagram yeah so it's it's all like a it it's just another way to educate your audience is how I'm seeing it for our business so definitely utilize that because like I said Instagram right now is favoring reels and then carousels so if you do that that will help you and our audience is always looking to be educated right so use them to your advantage go for it sorry I have a really dumb question so when you guys are like 
we talk to you like you're a child. I'm like, no, that's me because I have no idea what's going on. In the social- <laughs> I just, I feel bad. I feel like I'm belittling you guys. So that's why I say that. Cause I'm like, you guys might already know this. So no. I just feel bad. <laughs> no, I hate it. So, so when I'm posting, I have, uh, I used to have five, well, I have five Instagram accounts. I used to be big on Instagram before the pandemic and whatever. I had multiple businesses and I was posting. So I used to always just post videos, you know, and I still do for my private account. Um, videos of my kid playing in the snow, just silly stuff, you know, I just post a video and I post it and that's it. What's the difference between a video that I take and I post and a reel? What's the difference? Good question. Uh, do you want to answer it or do you want me to take it or? Yeah, so like you can make reels from the videos on your phone. Mm-hmm. You can. What is different is when you just like post a video, it's literally just like if it's a 28 second video or a one minute video, you can't go over one minute of a video or a reel, obviously. So um, Instagram's going to put your video out into the world more in the algorithm of like a still picture. Mm -hmm. Whereas doing a reel, like your you're like, it's really just, you're playing the Instagram game. Yeah. And the cool thing about reels, honestly, is the features with reels. Yeah. You can bump up the speed. You can do those transitions that we talked about. You can make it a lot slower. So it's like, it's slow motion. If you want to like drop an oil bottle onto the counter. And then once it hits the counter, it's like sped up. Like, so there's, there's features there. And then you can choose like the different the music or the audio if it's not music it's like a funny thing or whatever Mm -hmm. so the features there are so different and as you create a real Marcel and everybody it's it's a lot more fun it's a lot more engaging it's a lot more educational and Instagram is going to favor reels far above just a video that you post yeah so good recommend so when you're shooting a reel I'm sorry I have just a lot of questions so when you're making a reel do you shoot it through Instagram or do mm-hmm. you make yeah. video? From yeah, video? so you'll just like come here and you'll swipe. Like if you're, you know, you swipe. And down here there's stories, post, lives. And so you would just do a reel and here's the music. You can pick the music or the saved audio. You can change the time, how long you want the reel to be. You can change the speed 1x and you can click a timer if you need to like set a timer. And now you do like a three second countdown before it starts. Can you edit? Yep. Mm -hmm. You can go in and edit. You can like change it around, like make it shorter, make it longer, add text. Like right here, I could sit here and Mm. add text to it. Say hi. And you do high and then you click on that. Oh my laws. The high is down here. And so if I click on that, I get to tell, I get to say, I want high to show up this amount of time or this amount of time or this amount of time. You can move the words around. And <clears throat> Marcella, um, the, the lady that I put in the chat, um, I, I attached her page. So if you go to her Instagram, she is a huge help and she's actually from young living, but she's from young living, but she is awesome. Like she, like I said, she has a whole course strictly for reels. reels. She even gives you guys templates. You guys, I gotta tell you this. She's amazing. I'll hurry. Cause I, I see we're over time but just so you can see like how beneficial it could be to you it's almost kind of like the idea that Sid was doing for you guys in the beginning in the boxer so she has this so she has like a little video right so you push on it you want to start out in the layout so then she'll give you like a little run of how to make that video that she just did and then if you scroll down it will tell you um watch the video tutorial above rewrite the reel to fit your niche 
And then it says the point of this reel is to show off what your business products or services can do for your audience. And then it says how to use. And then it says if you're a, a service-based business, here's what you'll want to do. If you're a product-based uh, business, here's what you'll want to do. And then it says, if you want to use this audio, you can save it here and then write your caption. And it gives you just kind of like a template of how to write your caption, your hook, your body, your call to action, all of that. It's amazing. So honestly, she's just taking the quite like, honestly, all you have to do then is like follow her stuff. If you want to invest in it, is it like 20 bucks a month? Like, what is it? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's 20 bucks a month if you take her course and then this is like an addition to it. Okay. Um, and if you don't do the course, I think it's a little bit more pricey. Um, I think it's, I don't know exactly because I did her course. So I get it for like the 20 bucks. Um, I'm kind of spoiled and got lucky. Um, so it's probably I, like $30 a month. I think so. I think it's like 30 to 40 or something like that. So, cause That's obviously a it's a lot of beneficial material and of course she's not going to give it for free, but it is so helpful. Like that's, what got me started and it has helped me a ton because it takes all the guessing out of it it's literally all you have to do is put your own words into it oh yeah so maybe look into that if that's something you want to invest in yourself for like 30 dollars a month to like take the guessing game out even for a month or so for yourself i don't know just to get yeah. like your feet in the water understand how to maneuver the water of rails or honestly like don't, if you don't feel like you want to, and you want to just like figure it out yourself, we're always doing stuff on our boxer group of here's some ideas too. So, yeah. And you can use us too. You can use our pages and take a look at them. And yeah. if you have questions, I mean, you can ask us, you know, so. I don't think I follow any of you guys yet. I have to. Uh... <laughs> Priscilla I'm... just got back on social media, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Back, literally, I haven't posted any for years. I've just been like, just mm -hmm. <laughs> So I, have to, I don't remember if I'm following anybody or not. I have to check. And I have so many accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back to the account. But I'll, I'll, um, I'll make sure to follow everyone in the group. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're going to let you guys go. We went over like 10 minutes in time. But um, we'll see you guys for the team huddle on Tuesday. So come with just questions and things that you guys want to talk about on Tuesday for a team huddle for 15 minutes, but hope this is helpful yes. for you guys. Yes. Thank you. I will send that visual to you guys as well. That'd be great. Cool. Awesome. Thank you.